Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the Gaumon WH851, which is a wireless pen tablet for drawing. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company. In this video, I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. And the price of this pen tablet at the time of review is US $59.99. Alright, let me give you the bottom line up front. This pen tablet looks good and works well. The feel of the pen tablet on the textured drawing surface feels really nice. So the drawing experience is wonderful. There are eight hotkeys which are useful if you use hotkeys and there's this dial here and all these shortcuts are customizable. The main limitation here is this pen tablet is only available in one size which is 8 by 5 and this size pairs well with laptops and monitors up to maybe 20 inches if you're using monitors that are 24 inches or larger i would recommend you go with a pen tablet that is 10 by 6 inches and Garmon does sell those larger pen tablets as well on their online store on to the full review, let's take a look at the items included in the box. So this is the packaging box and this tablet is available in two colors. This is grayish green and this is dark gray. And this sleeve is packed outside the box. So this is for you to keep the pen tablet should you need to bring your pen tablet around. And there's a little small pocket outside for you to keep or store the pen and the charging cable if you need to. These are the items included in the box. The tablet, an artist glove, USB-A to USB-C cable, a card with a link to where you can download the driver, user guide, 20 replacement pen tips with a nib remover, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, a cleaning cloth that does not look like the usual microfiber cleaning cloth and the quality doesn't look that great. This is the pen. It's made with plastic but the build quality is solid enough. This is quite well made. The rubber grip is big and it's comfortable to hold. There are two customizable side buttons. The pen supports tilt and 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. This Pen tip has slight movement. This pen is not powered by battery, so no charging is required. Let's look at the design of this pen tablet. So this is a clean and simple, beautiful design. This is made with plastic and the overall build quality is quite solid. So this is quite well made. The edges are bevel so there are no sharp edges the corners are rounded off even the corners for the eight hockeys are rounded off and i like the differentiated colors that's the dial or the wheel and there's a button in the middle for you to switch between different functions for the dial the only things that feel plasticky about this pen tablet is actually um, this dial the plastic for this dial on this side, you will see the USB-C port for charging the pen tablet and the battery life for this is rated at 18 hours. So if you draw 8 hours non-stop a day, it can probably last for 2.5 days. Uh, that's if you draw like 8 hours a day. That's the power button. On this side is the pen holder. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is additional angular design on this part here and this is slightly thicker compared to the drawing surface area so it tapers down to the drawing surface area the matte textured drawing surface feels nice and when you are drawing there is this nice tactile drawing experience this is how the back looks this is matte textured and there are four rubber feet with good grip on the table. I've just connected the pen tablet to the laptop using Bluetooth and it works fine. Now if you are charging the tablet with a power outlet or with your laptop, the tablet can still work while it's charging. Let's see what the driver can do. This is the Windows driver. There are also drivers for Mac OS and Linux. So this is where you can customize the eight hot keys. You can tap on the key and enter your own keyboard shortcut. 
you can set mouse functions, uh, switch functions for switch screen or switch brush, multimedia controls, uh, show and hide the driver, or the shortcuts for the express keys, use the hotkeys to launch apps or choose not to use the hotkeys at all. For the down or the wheel, you can set up to three shortcuts so you can input keyboard shortcuts and these are all the shortcuts available to the hotkeys as well and once you set the shortcuts you can use this button in the middle to switch between the shortcuts under workspace is where you can map the drawing surface area of the pen tablet to your desktop in case the aspect ratio of the pen tablet is different is very different from your desktop if you are left handed you can change the orientation here so this is where you can customize the two pen buttons i have one button set, set to switch screen so that the cursor can move from one display to another display and back and this is where you can customize the pressure sensitivity curve by dragging the two dots here around or you can reset it to default this is where you can test the pressure you can enable windows ink here or disable that enable or disable the pen name or use mouse mode and under this settings icon this is where you can check for updates to the driver back up your settings and here is where you can create specific groups of shortcuts for apps that you use for example you can create a group of shortcuts for adobe illustrator another group of shortcuts for photoshop or some other apps that you use let me show you how switch display works so now the cursor is on the laptop screen if i press the shortcut now the cursor is on the external display and if i press again the cursor will go across two displays let's test the pen the first test is for the initial activation force so i'm going to hold the pen from the end here and just draw with the pen by using the weight of the pen i am not going to apply any pressure at all so as long as the pen tip is touching the drawing surface you can get a line so this pen is very sensitive and this is how thick the brush really is let's have a closer look the app that i'm using is midibank paint pro now even though you can use this pen tablet for taking notes uh, pen tablets aren't really designed for taking notes so let's take a look at the very faint or thin lines again let me draw the lines very slowly there is no diagonal line wobble the lines look quite straight to me and this is how thick the line really is let's see how the lines taper the lines taper very beautifully very smoothly and sharply so you can use this for cross hatching if you want let's look at the transition from thin to thick so this pen can draw thin lines thick lines and thin lines again so for pens with lousy support for pressure sensitivity it's very difficult to draw the thin lines after drawing the thick lines so this pen is able to do so which is to say that this pen um, is actually pretty good at detecting minimal changes in pressure when you are drawing with minimal pressure next let's see whether we can draw lines with consistent line width by applying consistent pressure and i can do so easily let's look at the dots they look all right let's look at the latency or the input lag it looks all right to me as in i don't notice anything strange 
Let's draw something really quickly. So right now I'm using the brush and if I press this hotkey, that's the eraser and I can press this hotkey again and that goes back to the brush. So the hotkeys work fine and the down or the wheel works fine as well. So you can use this to zoom in and out or change the brush size. So the thing with pen tablets is you have to look at the display while you draw on the tablet. This is not like pen displays where you can actually draw on the display itself. So if this is your first time buying a pen tablet, oops, it will take some time to get used to um, the workflow of looking at the display while drawing on the tablet. Anyway, these are tablets that artists have been using for decades, so I'm pretty sure you will be able to get used to uh, the workflow. So this is how sensitive the pen is. This is how thick the brush really is. And because the pen is so sensitive, um, it's actually quite satisfying to draw with. Because the lines, um, they come out exactly the way uh, you expect them to. I have been drawing on pen displays and those tablets are uh, like iPad uh, for the longest time so it's not that easy for me to switch back to drawing with a pen tablet one without a display okay let's have some thin lines and some thicker lines yeah see how expressive and because the pen is so sensitive you can create expressive lines very easily pen tablets are way more affordable compared to pen displays and because they are way more affordable they are better for beginners unless you know right at the start you want to draw on the display then go ahead and get a pen display but if you have limited budget pen tablets are great so i did not experience any issues while drawing the driver works fine the lines are able to taper very nicely smooth and sharply so this is my very quick 10 15 minute sketch and the lines came out exactly the way I expect them to you can get very expressive lines because the pen is so sensitive you can get thin lines extra thick and broad lines thin lines again yeah so the performance is very predictable very consistent oops forgot to color the shoes here let me just erase this part let's talk about android support so this pen tablet can be used with android os i've tried to connect this wirelessly using bluetooth to my two android tablets and that did not work so i'm using cable connection so i'm using usb c to usb a cable with usb a to usb c adapter so that I can connect this to my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra now this tablet actually has pen support so it doesn't really make sense to draw here while I look at the screen because I can already draw on the screen with the included Samsung S Pen anyway um, there are a few things to note about Android support the cursor may or may not be available and there is no way you will know whether the cursor will be uh, visible until you connect uh, to tablet so if you connect and you don't see the cursor then unfortunately you will not be able to use this for drawing with your android tablet there is no android driver so you will not be able to customize the pressure curve or use the hotkeys but you can customize the pen pressure curve if the drawing app that you use actually allows for pen customization so the working area of this tablet is actually 
this vertical rectangle. So let me just draw a vertical rectangle here. So you can see this is the working area. If you have your pen outside of the working area, it's not going to work. And this tablet has to be used in landscape orientation, but the working area is vertical. And this Android tablet has to be used in portrait orientation. There is no way for you to change the orientation. So pressure sensitivity works. These are the thin lines, thick lines, and tilt works. This is the soft pencil brush with pressure, and this is with tilt. All right, to conclude, you can expect excellent drawing performance with this pen tablet. I don't actually have many bad things to say about this, um, except I wish this tablet is available in more sizes, like larger sizes, because 8 by 5 inch matches well with laptops, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18 inches, and this can work with 20 inch displays as well. But if you're using 24 inch or 27 inch displays or larger ones, uh, it would be good if this is available uh, in 10 by 6 inch because when you're drawing a short line, for example, on the pen tablet, you want it to translate to a short line on the display. So if your display is too big and you draw a short line here on the pen tablet, that will translate to a long line on the display. So there is this disconnect. So it would be great if this tablet is available in more sizes. All right, I hope this review is useful. And if you guys are interested to get this, the Galmon WH851, you can check out the purchase link that I have for you in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.